How much money do professional cricketers actually earn? Well, let's find out. With cricket being the second biggest sport on the planet after football with 2.5 billion fans, just how much money are the top players raking in? Well, fear not, as we are about to find out as soon as you smash those like and subscribe buttons. All right, let's go. Cricket is predominantly an internationally contested affair, as opposed to football, which is domestic for most of the year. Could explain why cricketers generally get paid less than footballers. However, national cricket boards do pay their players relatively well for the year. For example, a top category Indian cricketer such as Rohit Sharma, for example, will earn a yearly salary of 850,000 US dollars. An Indian category C player such as Umesh Yadav will earn a yearly salary of 375,000 US dollars. England, however, do it slightly differently. This is what they do. A player with a test contract can make a maximum of 650k a year. A player with a white ball contract can make a maximum of 300k a year. The ECB also hand out match fees, which consists of the following. 18k for playing a test match, 10k for playing an ODI, and 5k for playing a T20. Not too shabby. But, there is one place in particular where cricketers can pick up a lot of cash. Franchise leagues. More specifically, the IPL. For just one season, Benjamin Stokes was paid 1.8 million US dollars. Christopher Morris, 2 million. That is how much they get paid to play just 14 games of cricket. It is believed that Kyron Pollard has made over 10 million US dollars just from playing IPL. Now bear in mind this man plays in several other franchise leagues during the year, such as the CPL, Big Bash and PSL. That's a lot of money. Even the lower profile players such as Dewal Brevis still pick up a naughty paycheck. The lad got 300 grand. He's only 19. In fact, the lowest salary paid to players in the IPL 2022 was 25,000 US dollars. Now let's talk about the biggest money maker in the sport. Virat Kohli. Virat Kohli. The man is estimated to make 26 million dollars a year, but only gets an annual salary of 2 million. How is this possible, you may ask? One word. Endorsements. You see, Virat Kohli is the biggest name in cricket by a long way. In India, he is almost seen as royalty. Kohli has over 200 million followers on Instagram alone, so no wonder every single company, brand, restaurant is offering millions for his endorsement. As well as being partnered with massive brands such as Puma, Kohli also has his own line of gyms in India called Chisel. Sponsorships are very common amongst all professional cricketers. Speaking of sponsors, by the way, I may just have one of my own. Although I'm not a professional cricketer just yet, do check out Buffalo Cricket. Link in the description. Thank you. As cricket matches are broadcasted on TV and therefore seen by millions, Cricket companies will pay players healthy amounts to get their brand seen by massive audiences. But exactly how much money do these brands pay the cricketers? Joe Root is estimated to earn around $200,000 a year from New Balance. Virat Kohli makes around $1.5 million a year from MRF. But poor Shubman Gilly doesn't get a single penny. I hope that video cleared up just how much these players are making at the top level. If you did enjoy, please check out some of the other videos I've done on my channel too. And it would mean the world if you could smash that subscribe button and leave a like and a comment. Thank you.